Hello and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. My name is Sean and tonight we'll be reviewing Maker's Mark Wood Finish Series FAE-02. Let's get into it. All right, folks, so here is our bottle for this evening, Maker's Mark FAE-02. This is part of their wood finishing series, as most of you know, and this is the 2021 limited release. So this is kind of a special bottle. We're not gonna read the tasting notes on the front there, but it is 109.1 proof or 54.55% alcohol volume. And uh, the stave details is 10 virgin toasted French oak staves. So uh, many of you probably know, uh, French oak staves is also what's used in Maker's Mark 46, which we recently reviewed. So let's get into this here. I have had one pour of it before the review, just to kind of get some air into it and let it open up a little bit. Well, let's get this thing poured and see how it compares to some of the other makers that we have had. Now, if you guys saw my initial take on this on the live stream, then you know that I thought it was very similar to Maker's Mark 46 cast strength. So we'll see if it's opened up and changed uh, some. Hopefully so, I'm hoping that it has. But not that that's a bad thing, just to be clear. I don't think it being like Maker's Mark 46 cast strength is bad at all. That's one of my favorite cast strength bourbons. But let's just uh, see on the nose first what the differences may be. All right, so very, very forward on the nose. So you're getting a very nice strawberry note. I mean, it's a really rich strawberry. Uh, definitely some cherry in there. Maybe some darker fruits, like uh, some stone fruits, like a plum. I would say also kind of some raisin notes in there as well. Uh, maybe some, maybe like a blueberry, but not just a blueberry on its own, more like a blueberry cobbler or blueberry pie. Very sweet blueberry. Definitely some char notes in there, getting quite a bit of barrel presence. And of course those staves are showing through. So nice toasted oak notes or French oak in this case. Oh, I just spun it a little bit too hard and threw some out of the glass on the bottle. That's okay though, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. Uh, there's a, a very slight lemony note in there as well. And then maybe uh, just the faintest chocolate note. Uh, more like a, like a white chocolate in this case. It's a very creamy chocolatey note showing through there. All in all though, a very nice nose. Looking forward to the palate. Let's go ahead and get our first sip in. Okay, so front of the palate was different than I expected based on the nose. Front of the palate was a lot of cinnamon and spice, uh, getting a lot of the barrel presence, a lot of uh, you know those kind of charred oak notes, uh, lots of heavy oak notes showing through there on the front of the palate. And then mid palate, it, that's where it starts to change. Then it starts going into the more berry forward notes. So you're getting those, the really nice strawberry, definitely a cherry in there, uh, lots of red fruits really. So cherry, strawberry, raspberry, uh, also kind of almost like a strawberry jam note on there. And then uh, as it goes kind of back of the palate, not quite back, but still kind of mid palate, but working its way back, that's when you start getting those darker fruit notes like the raisin and the plum. Now let's get one more sip in here and kind of focus on the back of the palate and the finish. All right, so let's talk about that finish. Uh, the finish is, is really nice if you like raisinettes. To me, that's what the finish is like. So you're getting that milk chocolate note. You're getting kind of that raisin plum note in there as well. Uh, you're also getting kind of other berry notes showing through as well as a little bit of pepper. So it's kind of like raisinettes, uh, pepper, and some strawberry all mixed together. And uh, the, the fruit notes really show up more on kind of mid to back of the palate, and then uh, they continue through into the finish. Um, I will say this, the front of the palate has got to be the most oak forward Maker's Mark I think I've had in quite a while. Uh, the Maker's Mark 46 cast strength is not as oak forward as this. So 
something to keep in mind when you're going out and looking for this is just know that you're going to get a lot of oak presence, especially on the front of the palette. If that's something you like, which I do not mind, I like those kind of deep oak notes and the charred notes. I like that barrel presence in there as well, as long as it's not overwhelming. And I think Maker's Mark has done a good job of uh, kind of keeping that, even though it is prominent, it's still in its place. It's not completely taking over the palate. So it still makes for a very nice bourbon experience, I think. I don't think it's quite as balanced as the standard uh, 46. Of course, this is cast strength, to you, so you kind of expect things to be a little more sharp and uh, jumping out of the glass more. But with all that said, I think this is an excellent bottle. So folks, if you've enjoyed this review, if it's helpful to you, if you're out looking for this bottle, you want, want to kind of know what you're getting into, I hope this helps you guys out. And I did get this at MSRP. As far as I know, I paid $60 for this. I think at that price, that is a great bottle to buy for 60 bucks. I don't know how you could pass on this. Essentially, you're getting Maker's Mark 46 cast drink just done in a slightly different way. There's quite a bit more oak presence, as I've mentioned. So if that's something that you're into, I think that you're really going to enjoy this bottle and definitely a buy for me. As far as the rating goes, uh, I have to rate it pretty high. I really enjoyed this bourbon experience. I would say that this will be kind of in competition for whiskey of the year this year. I can't say that it will win, but it will definitely be in that mix. So I'm going to go ahead and rate this as an eight point. <sighs> trying to think, comparing it to other things in my mind. I'm going to say 8.4 is my rating on this. I think it's an excellent bottle and definitely a buy at 60 bucks. So if you guys have enjoyed this review, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more reviews from me, then you can click right here for more reviews. And if you're really enjoying the channel, then click right here. And as always folks, just remember, you can never have too much good whiskey.